good evening. You're watching the news on Croatian television. Fourteen months after the adoption of the so-called Lex Agricor, the Temporary Creditors Council has unanimously approved the settlement deal proposed by Agricor's crisis management team. The 7,000-page document will now go before the commercial court in Zagreb tomorrow for final approval. We worked on the settlement deal for several months and finalized the details over the past few weeks in conjunction with the large creditors who are crucial in the voting process. The deal was also approved by our legal teams. Therefore, I don't expect any significant issues to come about. Agricor's largest creditors, Russia's state-owned banks Sberbank and VTB, said they were satisfied with the deal which will give them a 46.7% stake in the new Agricor. Sberbank's representative on the Temporary Creditors Council, Sergei Volk, had this to say immediately prior to today's vote. We're glad that we have reached an agreement. Um, everybody's happy, everybody's a little bit unhappy, but this is the process where we had many parties and uh, very complex, and I think we're done, so we will support the plan just an hour at the vote. And uh, then the next step, as Marit has said, would be implementation. We need to make sure this is done properly. However, not all suppliers were happy with the deal. Croatia's Adres group believes the settlement is neither fair nor just, adding that only time will tell if the deal was reached with Croatia's national interests in mind. Meanwhile, President Kolinda Grabar Kitarovic and Prime Minister Andrei Plenković expressed their satisfaction with the approval of the settlement deal. Both said they were pleased that a major economic crisis had been averted. This proves that the entire undertaking, namely the law on companies of strategic importance implemented by the government and the ruling majority in April of last year, allowed for creditors to reach a settlement within an extremely complex restructuring process. In my opinion, an economic and financial collapse of the country was prevented. This also saved jobs and assured the future operation of Agricor. In more financial news, the Prime Minister announced that the value-added tax will be lowered from the current 25% to 24% beginning in the new year. We will be the first government to lower the VAT. I am pleased that we succeeded in initiating a public and expert debate on this issue. The new rate will be implemented as of January 1, 2019, along with our other planned tax reforms. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Finance and expert working groups are looking at other ways in which to lower the overall tax burden for citizens and businesses. The President was in Sisak, Moslavina County today where she paid tribute to Gordon Lederer, the HRT cameraman who was killed during the Homeland War. She also met with the mayor of Hrvatska Kostanica and spoke with the victims of the devastating landslides that hit the town only three months ago. Early in the day, the president handed out awards to the county's top primary and secondary school students. The Croat member of Bosnia and Herzegovina's presidency, Dragan Čović, met with the Prime Minister and Parliament Speaker Gordan Jandroković in Zagreb earlier today. Discussions focused mainly on the upcoming parliamentary elections in Bosnia and Herzegovina on October 7th. Čović also received an honorary doctorate from the University of Zagreb for his role in promoting the status and identity of Croats. This merely adds to my desire to further grow as a person. Everything I do, I do for the benefit of all people. Taking a quick look at sports, the Croatian national team has traveled to Nizhny Novgorod for their second match in Group D against Argentina on Thursday. The team will have the difficult task of containing Argentina's dynamic striker Lionel Messi, arguably the best player in the world. Of course, Argentina will rely heavily on Messi, even though they have other excellent players at other positions. He played a great game against Iceland, but even the best players still make mistakes. We have to be ready for the entire Argentinian team, because this is about more than just one player. We can't prepare only for Messi. The weather forecast for tomorrow will be warm to hot with predominantly sunny skies. Some passing moderate cloud cover in the interior in the afternoon could bring isolated showers and thunderstorms, especially in the far east. Winds inland will for the most part be mild with an intermittent moderate northerly and northeasterly. The Adriatic coast will see a moderate to strong northeasterly with gale force gusts near the Velebi Channel. 
This will taper off in the second half of the day and shift to a northwesterly. Morning lows of 14 to 19 degrees Celsius inland, and from 21 to 25 on the coast, will give way to highs of 27 to 32 degrees Celsius. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for predominantly sunny skies on Thursday. However, there is a chance of some isolated showers, especially in eastern and central parts of the interior. Friday will be partly to predominantly overcast, with scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout continental Croatia, bringing a noticeable drop in temperatures on Saturday. The coast will be mostly sunny and hot through till Friday, when rain and thunderstorms move in. Saturday looks to be mostly sunny but cooler. Friday will see a northeasterly wind significantly gain in strength. And that brings us to the end of our program. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow night.